Go ahead, Sizzle, start it up. What's up, everyone? Good morning. Puddin and our Sizzle coming at you from Stewart, Florida today. We're offshore and we're babies, Floridians, and we're <laughs> freezing. Brian's putting on more and more clothes. Got and my bibs on again. It's freezing out. Very cold. And when I say cold, it's like 60. Whoop. Cold for us. We're gonna stop complaining about that though. It got the 15 degrees, so uh, anyway, the first time offshore in like a month. Yes. And uh, we're in a great window, so we're pretty excited. The front just came through, so we'll see what happens. Every day's a new day. We got Silent Frank with us. Yeah. And uh, this video is brought to you by Hair Club. Yes, it is. So we're gonna head out. We're gonna try and do some trolling. See what we're gonna look and see what we can find. Yes. And then probably some bottom fishing. Yep. No success on catching live bait, but that's fishing. But like we said, now we're just gonna search for something to fish. Let's go. All right, guys. Hooked up. That was not working out very well, the trolling, so we switched it up. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, fish. yours is going off. Fish on. Frank, get that one. I think I got sharks. I got doubled up. Frank, hurry up. Come I on. think I got sharks. Drag up the half turn. Yeah, I got sharks. Still I'm got gonna... sharked already. Get that fish in, Frank. Put that drag up more if you have to. So, anyway, the, yeah, it's no a one's got the fish on the troll. Unbelievable. Shark, those got sharked. Frank's bringing his fish in. Frank had a blue runner out there. Got crushed. She got crushed. She reels it in so slow. Dang it, man. Let's go, Frank. Let's get that fish in before it gets sharked. Fish is, oh, you got sharked. More drag if you have to. I want that fish coming in fast. Let me get out of the way. I want, I want you're, out you're fighting like this is the way. only fish you've ever the had. Net. Grab the net. I'm sorry. Thank you. Let's get out of the way. Frank. Is that drag lock? Pump it, pump it. Save my day. Save the day. That's a solid fish right there. Look at that. Come on, Frank. It's a lucky Got ride. Got that chicken rod doubled over. <laughs> Get him, Frank. Frank, let's go. Let's go. Short pumps. Short pumps. Oh, he's short. Brian, is that drag set? Is he short? Yeah, we put up a little bit already. I don't want to put too much more. There you go, Frank. You got him going. Get him, yeah, yeah, you got him going turned. now. You got him turned. Turn you got him turned. Brian, you can't do anything. Right. Fish took it. Check that drag right now. He got shocked. Unbelievable. Anyway. The deal with drag. sharks today. What? Unbelievable. We have to deal with sharks today. Hey, we got some good action there. All right, before I get even reset, Frank got a fish on there and it turned out it was a sharp mutton. So, got him out of the boat. <laughs> All right, Sizzle's hooked up. Get him, Sizzle. Is he on? No, not on. He's swimming up to the surface. Why would he be swimming up to the surface? He's swimming up to the surface. All right. Who's Wait. Getting, who's getting that? Oh, shit, it's over there. The runner. Yeah, it's not big. Yeah. It's a little AJ. All right. Broke up the skunk. Hooked an AJ. First fish for me of the day. Just trying to get warm because I'm freezing and a little tired. And the action is waking me up. Baby AJ got Woo. thrown back. Let's go, Joe Sizzle. Feels like an AJ is swimming all over the goddamn place. It's way over here. Watch out. Go, go, go. Let's go sizzle. I'm gonna grab it, grab it, grab it. Mutton. Nice. I think he's a keeper. Nice, that's a keeper. Nice. They're out deep, they're past the wreck. That's a keeper, right? All right, fish number two for me in the boat. I'm actually using one of my little Bonita strips here. And I'm just using it over and over again. And it's working. And I just caught a keeper mutton snapper. They gotta be 18 inches long, total length. And this guy is 19, if I can get him up. There he is. Beautiful. So pretty. Yeah. He's super warm. <laughs> like the ocean water is warmer than it currently is in the air. It's very pretty, he's gonna flip. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Dr. Sizzle. But Sizzle's using a stand at bottom right, guys, you use it all the time. It's a Maxell rod, but also Torium PGA's work great. Uh, extra heavy rod for some big fishes, 50 pound braid. And she's using her three swivel oh. system, which uh, I got a little uh, diagram of it, I'll put it right here for you. And uh, how, how big a circle hook are you using? Uh, match, seven. Seven O to match, the, match your uh, bait. How's your bait match the hook? And uh, nice job. Come on. Oh, come on. This feels like it's little, knocking it. Anyone knows what little feels like, it's you. All right, Dolly just got slammed, she says. That's right behind you. I don't know what's going on with this fish. It's like it's swimming at me. Or he got hit bit in half. 
So you have a fish there? Whew. Mutton. Nice. Keeper. Close. Yeah. He hey, might be hey, hey, hey. I'll take it, I'll take it. Be, he could be. These are all beautiful today, man. That's another 19. Yeah. Circle hook right in the corner, doing his job. I'm hooking them right. Mutton snapper number two. I think he might be like a half inch smaller or bigger than my last guy. Let me see if I can get a hold of him here. They're also flippy today. Fishing them in about 80 feet of water. Oh my goodness, I can't kill them, control them. But anyhow, fishing about 80 feet of water and they're coming right up. Jeez, and they're not blown up as you can see, so they're really flippy. You see that circle hook right in the corner doing its job. Had a piece of mullet on there as well as that piece of the strip. Pop that right out. So how do you but, feel the bites? Is it like, what does a bite feel like? And like, when do you know to reel and this kind of thing? Well, the circle hook does the job for you. So you don't really need to set a hook when you're bottom fishing with a right. circle hook at least. But you know, I'll feel something going on down there and snappers, what they do is, you know, especially a bigger size one, they'll really just tap it. And then all of a sudden the rod will just double. And then you just reel, you just reel as soon as you see that rod starting to bend over, you reel, come tight on that fish. And that's when that circle hook sets right in the corner of the mouth perfectly every time. And I just try to reel as fast as I can with sharks around in the area. Plus they bother us year round nowadays. So you just reel, reel, reel. If you can't, just then you got to pump. But you know, that's a solid keeper snapper right there. Not the biggest one in the world, but like I always like to say, they all look exactly the same on a fork. So he keeps, he stays in the boat. Mutton snapper going number two. Let's see if the boys can catch up to the girl. Frank, you hear that? You Oh, excuse my language. You just got blasted, bro. <laughs> you too, bro. Oh. I'm just kidding. You're doing the camera work. I'm too handsome to fish. Oh. You're just doing the camera work. And I can't make Frank, fun of you. Frank, you think he'd be dozy last time. All right. Kind of passed it. Hmm? They kind of passed it. The whole thing? Yeah. All right, let's well, see what you get in the mountain, so I don't know. Here, go. Here goes mine. Here goes mine. Doubled over. Doubled up, y'all. We're well doubled. Keep it going, Frank. Keep it going. Sizzle. Easy, sizzle. Don't, easy with the line, sizzle. Where's your weight, Frank? Did you get the shock? Get his quickly. Keep rolling, Frank. At the keeper. Get mine now. Here he is. I see him. I see him. Yeah, buddy, yeah, here. buddy. Right over here. Come on. Go, baby, go. Yeah, buddy, yeah. Woo wee! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Getting He's a little, a little bigger. bigger. That's a decent one. Getting a little one. bigger, baby. That's a nice one. That's about yeah. a 22. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get a snapper limit. We're going to get a snapper limit right now. Let's go. Go back. Turn around. Go. <laughs> get back on the spot. We will. We will. Right now. Show them. All right, guys. So we are catching these beautiful beautiful hang on one second i am going to get hooked let's get the hooks out all right guys here's the double up of beautiful mutton snappers frank and my snapper beautiful they're getting a little bigger each time with this drift and we are catching them what's the name of this wreck again i don't know the six mile reef six mile reef and i'm going to post it actually on the fish angler app where we're exactly catching these fish they're a little off the wreck and if you know anything about muttons they live in the sand on the outside of the wrecks so once again, follow me on Fish Angler, download it for free. It's totally free to sign up, but check it out because I share some incredible secrets and incredible fishing knowledge on there for y'all to come out here and do this too. All right, we just got turned right around. I can't wait to get more lines out. I love the way these guys fight. Oh, that was quick. Kuda? Real Frank. Straight out of the boat. Whoa, oh, wait, <laughs> you see that, that thing? <laughs> I missed it. What was it? I don't know if it's going to be a camera, but Brandon, I got two Oh my god, big cuda, big cuda right here. Who's to come in? Big cuda on mine. I don't want to catch a cuda. What do you think we're going to catch here? A cobia? You're going to catch a cobia in the middle of the day like this? I, so he stopped at, a, at the sand pile or Texas rig on the way in because it was getting too rough, man. And uh, just the way the wind, wind's going one way and the current's going another, it just made a mess. And uh, Frank put a runner down and, <laughs> and his barracuda skied on it within a minute. I think we were flying, it was awesome.
We are back at the house, guys, and it's time to fillet up our delicious mutton snappers for dinner. Starving today, a little on the chilly side once again. How do you like my red and white blue plants? Go ahead and drop a comment down below if you like them. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get started on these fish. Gonna be using my seven inch and my nine inch fillet knife from Smith's Consumer Products today, Lawaya series. And we're just gonna dive right into this. So this is one of the bigger fish we caught. Just made that incision right there. Turn that knife up and just get all the head meat as much as possible. You guys know, if you're watching my videos, I repeat this over and over again. Follow that backbone straight down. And this is the way to do it. Get your blade underneath those scales. And just follow all the way down. Leave those rib cage bones intact. Now check out that beautiful piece of meat. Delicious. There we go, Not one side knocked out. I'm gonna switch to the nine inch. I could use a seven inch as well, but just makes it easier for me. Nice sharp blade, and that way I don't, I'm not gonna miss any meat here, just slice, slicing it right off the skin. That's off. So you, they don't have much of a bloodline there whatsoever, but you can go in there if you want and just kind of knock it out like so. And if you're also interested in the knives that I use today, I have a promo code down in the description box below if you're interested to get your own fancy pair of filet knives. Love these things. And right here, of course, don't forget about the pin bones. Just knock those out. Get that little piece of stomach out. And that's all set. Ready for the dinner table. Delicious. All right, we're gonna finish up the other side of this fish and then meet you guys somewhere for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. This is my other hat. And uh, this is the outside campfire edition. We've got a little campfire. It's, it's winter here, January. Average high is 75 degrees. And uh, so that's a nice time for us <laughs> to go outside. Uh, you know, a nice day in Florida is when you can roll your windows down in your truck, which I was able to do today. Took the little boat over to the shop for some maintenance. But uh, I'm not a huge fire guy. So I'm just gonna do charcoals. I'm gonna put the uh, fish right over this nice little grill. I was gonna use the pan, but I decided to use like a fish thing where you, you'll see, I'll use it. So we're just gonna get this started, get this warmed up, and then I'm gonna go in the house and uh, get the fish prepared. So uh, follow me in there, let's go. All right guys, we got some nice mutton here. Darcy, of course, flayed up for us. And I'm just gonna keep it simple, you know, like I like to do, we don't gotta get crazy. I'm going to uh, salt and pepper it and coat it with a little bit of oil because it's going to be on a hot fire. I like to have it coated. So let's see how that goes. All right, heading outside, but Darcy's doing her crab claws right now, so I'm kind of splitting our duties. I am. <laughs> so she, I said you go cook, let me work. <laughs> yeah, got a little role reversal. <laughs> so she's actually making her crab claws that she makes for the necklaces, of course. Yes. And uh, so I'm going to go back outside and cook that fish. Nice. That's a giant. That's a, that's a XL. Nice. Colossal. All right. All right, well, we're going to cook it. Soon. I'm going to cook it with the fans, and then we're right back. Thank you. All right, let's go. For my pleasure, trust me. All right guys, I'm back. This is what I meant. So I got the fish, and I'm keeping my voice down because I got trashy neighbors, or trashy dogs. Trashy neighbors, good dogs, but the dogs bark. So I got a little, this thing down. Now what I mean is this thing, like you should get one of these, real easy for the barbecue and campfire fish. Put the fish between here and you do this, watch. So, I'm gonna put some tomatoes on there too, because you know, you always need acid, right? And then my fish. Now you really gotta watch fish in a barbecue because as you know, fish cooks about 10 minutes an inch and it's not that, not that fat. So, boom. See? Okay, closer look. These are great. And it's got like a little locking thing here. Okay, so it's good. They just put it on. And uh, again, 10 minutes an inch. That stuff's only about an inch. Oh, I'm gonna put the meat down first. And uh, we might have to raise or lower this, but let's see, uh, see how it goes. I'm gonna run in and get a land shark because I forgot my land shark. All right, now I guess even in this short time, there's already white around the edges. So I'm gonna flip it and see that. Maybe use a little more on that side. And I did lower it a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I brought Legs McGee over here. Yeah, she had these shorts. Does this gym short stand up? I'm gonna show you off. Her legs look ridiculous in these shorts. I'm sorry. Thanks. Anyway. I need to do more squats today. I need to do more squats. Squats. All right. 
I'm gonna, All right. I think it's brought me in, brought me back to the best part. Whoa, it looks really good. It does look good. All right, it looks done. Nice. Whoa, I got smoke in my eye. Woo. Nice. I sprayed this with like a cooking oil spray before, so it fits on there good. I mean, so it comes off good. What's going on back behind me? An airboat? I can't hear that. Oh, I think there's an airboat behind me. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of work across the canal and the houses, like, houses lately. Yeah, unfortunately, some of my good friends across the street who I've known since I moved in here, the other father passed away. Um, so we wish them the best. Uh, the widows, we love you guys if you're watching. Have a taste or sizzle. Yes. I put some broccoli on here. It looks perfectly cooked by me, of Dude, course. Dude, it looks amazing. You have to show that up close. I'm gonna. Nice. It has that nice smoky like barbecue flavor to it. Yeah, that's why we're out here. Delicious. Mmm, it is good. You need to do this more often. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go inside and finish up our meal. Mm. It's like a late lunch, early dinner for us. And uh, what sponsors did we do in this in this video? Well, you know, we like to measure, mention them at the end. <laughs> I don't recall, but of course, Land Shark. Consumer products. Oh, yeah. Land Shark. Yeah, don't forget the tag. Uh, I mean, don't forget down the bottom, we got a code uh, for Smith products. We're going to pick up some of those. Look in the description of every video. Land Shark. And until next time, follow your dream and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Let's go. Your beer. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no.